But he wants something. See, God has desire. And his desire is pure, holy, and right. That's why he's totally other than this universe. Totally other than, than everything that he's created. But one thing to God is special. One thing in this universe that God created special, different than every other thing, and that is man. Man created in the image of God after his likeness. And God breathed into man. Man became a living soul. And then man turned into himself. See, God put two trees in the garden. He put a lot of trees there. He said, there's the tree of life over there, okay, in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. See, And God knew they were going to eat of it. He said, in the day that you do eat it, you, in the day that you eat of it, not if, but in the day you do eat of it, you'll surely die. And their spirit man died. And then their flesh man died within a thousand years. God knew that would happen. Before the foundation of the world, Jesus Christ, Almighty God, is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. It's a mystery. Believe it. Hallelujah. Embrace it. Say, God, save me. Save me, Lord. Just let God come in and let Him just save you. See, don't, don't remain in your hardness of heart and your, your utter rebellion against God. Because, see, He's coming back in flaming fire taking vengeance on all those hallelujah all those who know not God and obey not the gospel I'm going to read that exactly as it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 he says hallelujah in flaming fire verse 8 he's coming hallelujah and to you who are troubled rest with us verse 7 when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed going to be revealed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a disclosure. It's an appearing. It's coming. Light and manifestation. Be revealed. Revelation from heaven with his mighty angels. He's coming with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power okay but if you get saved you get to become a saint see Paul wrote to the saints at Corinth he wrote to the saints at Ephesus see those people were saints they had struggles they had problems but they were saints hallelujah see and God has called us saints. So when you get saved, verse 10 is for us. Hallelujah, the true believer. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. See, we admire him. We love him. We adore the Lord Jesus Christ. He's almighty. Hallelujah. See, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. See, okay. Let me read that again. 2 Thessalonians 1 10 when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe in that day okay the other parts in brackets because our testimony among you was believed see Paul was witnessing to the Thessalonians Paul was showing them see from the scripture he was witnessing with and God was showing up with signs and wonders we see signs and wonders happening today Sharon and I we hear messages from people people write us and tell us they're, they're, they're stories about how God's blessed them and God's, God's brought them out of confusion and doubt and fear from watching Jan's videos or, or other people on YouTube that are just of the devil just preaching out poison people get away from that and they get back into the word and they, they realize hey praise God I'm free at last hallelujah see Jesus said if ye my, are my disciple indeed okay alright You'll continue in my word, see? Okay? In his word. You'll continue in the word when you are his disciples indeed. And then you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You want salvation today? You come to Christ. You bow down to him. Okay? You want to continue on in your stubborn, rebellious way? You go right ahead. Some of you that continue on, you're going to end up in the lake of fire. 
That's where you're going. Others of you who want to continue on your rebellion, God's chosen you. And I'm telling you, He's going to break you. He's going to quake your world. He's going to break you down until you call out to Him because He's chosen you. And He loves you. And He cares for you. And you know who I'm talking to. Some of you. God's chosen you. He's put His hand on your life. The true and living God. And He wants you to come. But you got to come right now. Come on. Come on. See? We are on the winning team. See? Okay? Moses said, what did Moses say? He said, who's on the Lord's side? He's going to come over to the Lord's side. Okay? Don't believe the lies of the New Age that says, uh, we are all gods, you know, because Elohim means God's little g. That's a bunch of bull. Don't, don't fall for that trash. Okay? We are created beings made in the likeness of God. But Jesus Christ is different. He's holy, born of a virgin, pure and holy and righteous and true grace okay God in the flesh he's pure he's totally different than we are he's the pure man but he has something that we all have okay and that is emotion human emotion human feeling okay he, 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 he knows what we go through when we struggle he knows what we're going through when we're weak in faith. He knows about that. When we're sharp and get all angry. He knows about that. He suffered through every temptation. And he learned obedience by the things that he suffered. Okay. And he didn't never sin one single time. Never. Not one sin. And he says to us, come to me and I will transform you and make you like unto myself. That's what he says. That doesn't mean we're going to be God. It means we're going to be like him in his image. Hallelujah. See, there's only one creator. Hallelujah. It's not like the Mormons teach that you are going to have a, you know, everybody has their own little universe. No. No. We're going to worship the Lamb for all of eternity. Hallelujah. As created beings reflecting his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reflecting his glory. Praise God. Come to Christ. Come to Jesus. Time is short, you know. Come to Him. Lord, I pray you publish this word. Lord, I pray that you reach out and grab and pull out of the pit those you want to grab tonight. Or whenever this video is being watched for. Just pray that you grab them and pull them out like you did me, like you did Sharon. Many others, Lord. We know about salvation a little bit, Lord. Teach us more about how to be obedient to you and walk in your steps. In Jesus' name.